I'm Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shah, Brock the Yahweh, Brock the Yahweh Shah, Bashan, Rakakwadash, the honor to the apostles, the elders, salutations to you, sincere brothers, teaching and truth and in sincerity. This lesson will be entitled Australia Nomen Omen, which means what? Name prediction. All right. This video was inspired by a video on the platform of Sean Baker MD okay and also um, the brother Lamad posted this in our group chat now this video is entitled Australia has fallen in to complete tyranny all right so what's going on camps have been activated okay Facial recognition has been activated. All right. You have to be at home at a certain time frame. All right. That has been activated. Limitations on drinking has been activated and etc. All right. People's liberties are being stripped. All right. So what's the significance of these draconian measures being exercised in Australia. According to the Etamon, Australia goes into what? Austral. Which means what? To shine especially of the dawn, meaning what? The new world order, all right? To shine, especially of the dawn, all right? So they are starting with Australia, all right? To bring in the concept of the new world order or this great reset. To shine, especially of the dawn, And again, going into the new world order. Revelation 12 and 12, therefore rejoice ye heavens, and we are rejoicing. Beginning with Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, all right, and the heavenly host, okay, that is in the spirit world. We are all rejoicing, why? Because Esau's kingdom, is coming to an end. And ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because ye know that he have but a short time. A short time to do what? Job 5 and 12, he disappoint the devices of the crafty, the he, referring to Yahweh Bashem El Shai, all right? The crafty, referring to the nobility of Edom, the international bankers, they control the system so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise, their enterprise, referring to their success, going into the new world order, okay? Because he know that he have but a short time to do what? To attempt to attain the new world order. Isaiah 14 and 12. How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer? Referring to the nobility of Edom. Beginning with the nobility of Edom. All right, their heaven, referring to their rulership, their dominion, son of the morning, how art thou cut down to the ground which did weaken the nations? All right, because it's prophesied that the nobility of Edom trickling down to lesser Edomites, all right, their dominion will end. And again, Lucifer means what? Light holder, okay, light bearer, 
all right? So you have Luciferians on the right-hand side and on the left-hand side. Dawn, which means what? Light, okay? And Lucifer means what? Strong's H, 1965. Um, Hal, Salakia. That would be Haya Lal. Haya Lal, which means light barrier. So on the left hand side, beginning with the nobility of Edom, okay, they control everything. They have the intel, okay, and they receive this intel by being closely connected with the spiritual being, Satan, okay? That is the reason why they are able to be so crafty, all right? They work with Satan on a high level, point blank, period. Now, on the right-hand side, all right, beginning with Yahweh Shai, okay, he's a Luciferian, okay, trickling down to us. See, everything is balanced, all right? And when a person states Lucifer, all it means is light barrier. You are illuminated in knowledge, whether on the left-hand side or on the right-hand side. But back to the focal point of this lesson, Australia goes into to shine, especially of the dawn. Now, the dawn brings in what? A new day. Okay? From a symbolic standpoint, the new world order. Lord will, you're edified. Shalom.